Hey everybody, this is Core Harmonic. I am your host Emery, and we are about to jump into the reaction for Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 1 Episode 5. But before we do that, I do have a few things that I need to tell you in case you don't know. I won't be doing the Naruto reaction highlights anymore simply because one of my favorite channels got a strike for that and you know all creators are afraid of that stuff because it is a lot of work to get a strike removed and I'm not about to do that so yeah I've decided to take it down. I've made the executive decision as the leader of this group to actually take it down and never do them again. But of course, the full length reaction watch along will be, will always be at our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash coreharmonic. You will find many rewards and exclusive perks there. You will find a few, you know, free full length reaction watch alongs. That's something we offer regarding the first episode of every season of any show that we cover or will be covering in the future. I have been posting a lot of trailer reactions recently. Check them out. All of them are at our channel at Core Harmonic. I've probably said Core Harmonic a million times now that everybody must be genuinely exhausted of it. They're like, dude, we know it's Core Harmonic. We got it. It's like inserted in our brains now. Hopefully it is. Hopefully you tell your friends and family members about it. Everybody that you know that is into this kind of stuff. And I'm not going to talk forever, I promise. Let's jump into the recap for episode 4. So what happened? They have decided to go to a uninhabited planet. But they need to acquire the necessary components. The necessary yeah, ingredients, you can say. Food supplies, repairs. To make sure that they actually survive. But Omega being a kid... She wanted to go sightseeing even though it was a supply run but she saw it differently in her head because she wants to have fun and she's not into hiding right now because she has been stuck on Kamino her whole life with the Kaminoans. Fennec Shant is on the hunt, she is after them and Tech was trying to scramble their signature so that they couldn't be tracked. And Wrecker is slowly losing it and is about to cross over to the dark side. I'm still wondering and I am excited to see who Fennec Shant is actually working for, who hired her, and what that person's plan is with the Bad Batch, what Fennec Shant's larger plan is because she's not some common bounty hunter. She has more up her sleeve and hopefully we get a deeper explanation as the show goes on. And that is a quick recap of what actually happened in episode 4. Time for the reaction of episode 5. These are the reaction highlights. And with that said, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into this reaction right freaking now. I get my own comm device. Technically it was crosshairs, but he doesn't appear to need it. Echo, what's your position? Over. <clears throat> It's not a toy, Omega. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. I know an informant there named Sid. He might be able to help. And you trust him? Well, the Jedi trusted him. The Jedi who are all dead? Will anyone have a better option? Remember the rules? Don't wander off. Keep my eyes and ears on my surroundings. And trust no one but my squad. And if you get into trouble? Use my comm and give my location. Sid, huh? Hmm, nope. Doesn't ring a bell. What about them? Was I not clear? That means she's lying. We came all this way for nothing. Thought too that she's, uh, that she's Sid. I never had clone deserters come to me before. Yes, well, we separated due to a fundamental difference in ideology. That's cute. You thinking I care. Then tell me what you want. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love her already. She's great. She doesn't give a... F you know what I mean? Like, she doesn't care. We encountered this woman on Pantora. Do you know who she is? No. 
but I know a bounty hunter when I see one. The sarcasm. That depends on what you boys do for me. True. Mercenary. Not too quick, are you? Clearly, the kid's the brains of your operation. Oh, damn. A She's a mercenary? There's a nice bounty on a kid named Moochie. She was taken by Zygerian slavers. Bring me the kid, and I'll get you your intel. Well, who collects the bounty? Oh, look, it talks. <laughs> Oh, we would be great friends. Oh, and he hit his head. He, I think he hit his head way too much. Are hiding in the ruins of old Ord Mantel City. What's a slave trader? Someone who buys and sells people for credits. People can be sold. Yeah. Their captives treated like property. Yeah. That doesn't seem right. No, it's not right at all. We are going to stop it from happening to that kid. I have a visual. I only see one child. Poor Moochie. She looks scared. <laughs> I love that she tries to sound like them. I'm on Kua. Easy enough. I'm in. What are we waiting for? You get back to the ship. But. That's an order. Yes, sir. Well, you can be a lookout. You know. Echo, you're the eyes in the sky. Rekka, draw the Zygerian forces out. Tech and I will grab the kid. Not a problem. Echo, stay prepped. What was that? Two roving patrols on speeders. First guard checkpoint dead ahead. Oh, no. There's a monster right below them. Oh, just imagine something moving that quick around you. Is is this a double cross? Of this nature requires planning. Assure your employer he'll be reunited with Muji soon. Oh, okay, I thought it was a double cross. Hatis? No need for threats. I have my best people on it. Oh. <laughs> uh. Hati, so that has to be from um, Captain Sindula's, um, Hera Sindula's race. Check the hole. Make sure no one's on board. The ship is clear. We're returning to base. <laughs> Look at them with their classic one-dimensional villain voices. Hunter, do you copy? Tech, Echo, Rekka, anyone? Freaking mosquitoes. I thought I made my bottle fall. Save your energy. They're going to need it. Yep. I totally forgot that they have these magnificent beasts. So much for being smart. <sighs> and seeing as how we have never been tasked with rescuing a child from slave traders before, there is no data I can compare it to. We need to signal Omega before their scouts find her. Except our comms are over there with our weapons. The Republic outlawed slavery. We're not in the Republic anymore, Skug. Son of a bitch. I wasn't sneaking. I was unlocking. Clever. Oh, that beast is about to hurt him. Wait. Isn't that the same beast that was in um, Jabba's... Yeah, it's a Rancor. Yeah, exactly. Sword versus whip fight. Oh yeah, I forgot that those things have... 
Electricity. I wish there was an uppercut there though. That would have been oh, that would have been really nice. Oh new weapon. Oh yes! Oh I need to get me one of those. Hell yeah. He's losing his touch. <laughs> yeah, he's losing his touch. His head. His head. I think he has um a little bit of brain damage. So that's the same Rancor that was about to eat. If you're looking for work, I'll think about it. The bounty hunter of Fenix Caliber being after you. You fellas must be pretty valuable. Double cross. Don't worry. I'm good with secrets. Ooh, I do not like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, she's gonna double cross them at one point. I can feel it. Guys and girls, you know what I always say. Apologies for the noise. The neighbor's dog is back at it again. As soon as that dog sees somebody, it starts barking, as dogs do. Thank goodness that not all of them are like that. I want to have just as much fun as Omega has with the calm device that was crosshairs and you saw how emotional they got. They get emotional every time anybody mentions crosshair to the point where even Wrecker says that, okay, I'll say it, I miss him. And I agree. I miss him too. We got a new character, or at least she is new for me, within the Star Wars saga, and that is Sid. She is a mercenary, and as I said before during this reaction, uh, her and I would be best friends. She is so much fun. She doesn't give a damn. She doesn't care. She's focused on whatever goal or thing that she has in mind. She's not here for small talk. She's not here for the boring stuff. And she reminds me of Red, retired and extremely dangerous. Like she still has it going on and you can see it. The way she acts, the way she positions herself as this boss level opponent. We got to see those terrible, horrible Siberian slavers and I honestly thought that Muchi was a little girl. And in a sense, the creature is, I guess. But isn't it the exact grand core of Jabba's dungeon? Or is that maybe the baby? There was a mention of Kuat Barad. And I don't know who that is necessarily. If anybody knows, let me know. I do like the name Ganki for the droid. And as soon as I saw that droid, I was like, man, I've seen this type droid before in Star Wars Rebels. So it was nice to see that droid once again. As much as we don't see the Republic doing a lot of good things, at least they outlaw slavery. It was so cool to hear the Hatties language again with Bib Fortuna talking to Sid and Sid being such a clever negotiator, such a clever businesswoman. And in case you don't know, Bib Fortuna is Jabba's second in command. Sid did mention that Fennec Shant is new to the scene, so I'm guessing that this is where she first started out. So this is the young version of Fennec Shant, so it's basically like Batman year one type thing which is something that Sid mentioned, and you can just feel that a double cross is coming, you know, or she's just scaring them, I guess, or, you know, maybe she's just messing with them. Maybe this is how she likes to have fun from time to time. I don't know. Hopefully she doesn't. I have no clue. She's really hard to read, and I really appreciate that. It brings something new to a character that I just got introduced to. 
yeah, that was the discussion for episode 5. To everyone who is new here, in case you have stayed till the end of this discussion, we do a lot of different stuff here. Trailer reactions, reactions to TV shows and movies. The full uncut reactions where it's just full uninterrupted is over at our Patreon page. Feel free to check us out. The reactions start at the $5 tier. There are a few other tiers where you get more exclusive benefits and perks. So check that out. Feel free to follow us there as well. Join the conversation. Check out our socials. All the links are in the description down below. And I will see you in the next reaction video. Reaction highlights or full uncut, full length reaction. Watch along. Bye.